Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsi and welcome back to Factorio, Valkyless Factorio, no less. And for me, it's been a while. Hopefully, for you, that's not the case. So, if I remember correctly, last time we did this uh, lab setup, this improved lots lab setup, where we have better throughput of our science packs and the plan for today should be to make sure that we have enough science coming in so that we uh, can continually do research because if you look here some of the labs they are missing science packs and I'm not quite sure why that's the case probably only here in the top row further down it looks better but at least we should always or almost always have trains sitting here and I think one of the first bottlenecks that's probably uh, space science we can also look that up in here maybe uh, production last 10 minutes uh, and then look up the, the different signs Okay, space science looks actually better than others. Do we have all of them? Yeah, the chemical science. I think the purple one is the chemical science. That's lagging a bit behind and the reason for this is mm, we have two trains but they are waiting here for more loading. So let's have a look what's up with that. Um, this one here, destination full. And then this one here, purple science delivery destination full. That's not true. is why is this one disabled here we get one L output so why do we have signal something seems wrong here um, oh that should be a signal yeah of course, uh, I think that was something we did a few episodes back where we uh, introduced another step here, but that means we have to change this setup. Also,
and maybe we have the same issue elsewhere here it looks correct for military signs so let's have a peek here here it's correct and here that's also correct that we fixed here it's correct and then the last one okay so it was only the purple signs that was messed up and we can see we have another train uh, loading there and we have one train unloading there and question we do have quite a few rail pieces here and this only gives an input uh, if we have less than three green inputs and we only have one green input now i'm wondering if that's that's how we roll here well, let's head over here not equal to three okay apparently the signal we're putting out was not the only thing that was wrong here also the comparison sloppy work that's why this series is that long so We have here one yellow output signal, but then from here and down there, we don't get a yellow signal because there is enough uh, purple science packs stored. So that's that's good then. And. Let's have another look in the meantime. You can see this this is the peak for the space science. Um, everything else produces around 750. even more so maybe if we wait a while we can get the, the purple signs uh, also up to in that area and 750 that's a bit more than one science pack per minute and um, I would like to increase that but maybe let's look at the at the most simple one uh, here we are probably not producing more because we have so much stockpiled so maybe the red one is not the one we want to look at um, uh, to measure up if we if we need to increase green we also have a bit stockpiled uh, yellow we have stockpiled here as well so military science as well as for the as for the 
the blue one. So maybe to ensure that we always have trains here, we do have trains with this stop. Ah, interesting. Only one yellow train? But I guess from all the others, we have two trains. I think space science does not make sense to have more than two trains because for the space science we have only one loading station. So that could be a, a bit of a, of a, a bottleneck. Uh, I could also add the science packs that I have in my pocket in here. So that should free up my pockets. Um, that's not what I wanted. There. Yeah. And then let's grab a few more trains, add them, and um, wait a while and see where that will get us. For all the major science packs, now we have three trains. And looking at the production over the last 10 minutes, uh, we can see that overall numbers have increased but the purple signs that's still the lowest and if we have a look at why that is it's basically lack of uh, ingredients and then of course um I mean, here we only have rails left, um, so that's no good to produce anything in particular. Um, but if we look here, is we have two trains standing here at uh, rail uh, delivery or pickup, and both actually want to go to the next station which is electric furnace uh, which means all the stations are not ready to receive because there are no furnaces to pick up means the delivery train does not deliver enough and we only have one of those and currently we have this long line for steel pickup and we only produce steel back here so looking at this um, Maybe we want to introduce a station here for yellow ammunition pick up waiting. So we can get free up this station and then down here. Maybe we need a few more miners to get more in there. Because here you can see on this line we are not producing anything so let's see then do we have any slot open iron sticks Why do we have... We don't need two for iron sticks. 
Oh, maybe we do. We have quite a few few trains for iron sticks you should not go to iron sticks okay so maybe we have too many trains with the iron sticks waiting station Um, how are we looking down here? This is a free one. So let's make this waiting yellow ammunition pickup. And then where are we producing the yellow ammunition here? So that's only that one train. So we go to waiting, waiting, yellow ammunition. pick up move that to here and go there that should solve that problem and then we can see about additional miners to speed up the steel um, production uh, on the on the other line and maybe we need to think about of having not a steel production set up if we uh, see that what we have got there does not cut it and yeah let's ram into into the rocks it's a good idea that one anymore and remove these ones and we can have these extended to there and then let's copy this That should basically kick in all of the furnaces down there. So that probably does not make a big difference or at least not a difference that we would notice right away because the steel that was just one puzzle piece in the supply line and it was pretty far back in that supply line so we will have to see how that turns out but I want to see uh, what's wrong with uh, 
this stick station here. Um, you don't know to go there. Seventeen trains. You don't need to go there. Um, for the inserters, we don't need any sticks. So you also don't need to go there. Uh, basic, basically, I can just look. Uh, what's the follow-up station iron sticks and then iron plate loading that's that's not correct probably all the ones for uh, for the green circuits I assume we uh, had that wrong on uh, on one of them and then just copied the schedule over to all the other ones. That would explain why there are so many. Iron plate, grenade, iron sticks. Don't need it. That was not a green green circuit one. That's a green circuit one. That's a green circuit one. That's a green circuit one. Here, iron sticks. That's actually one that we leave. And it's the first one. Here we are green circuits. Here we are green circuits. Here we are green circuits. And here we are green circuits. You can you can tell by mostly where the trains are sitting so basically we can then make this another free station that we could reuse and have still the one train going there and I think that does it for today. We tried to fix some things. Um, we did not manage everything, but I think at the beginning of the next one, we will see how well we did um, and how the production looks and where we have to tweak things next.